My hair is just... Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a fun little Q&A. So I asked you guys to send me some questions on my Facebook and my Instagram, which you did. And um, yeah, let's get started. So the first question is, who's your pick to win the Stanley Cup this year? I'm gonna go with Tampa Bay. This one's not a question, but I think it would be cool to see a behind the scenes look at you painting. Yes, this is actually a really great idea and it's something that I've been thinking about doing. Um, I am working on the largest painting that I've ever done before, so I was thinking that once that's dry, I might do a little varnishing video. So leave me a comment if that's something that you might be interested in too. What was your favorite season of Supernatural? Obviously I have to go with season nine. What do you like more, tacos or burritos? Definitely burritos. What's your favorite anime that you've voiced in? Oh, I love this question. My favorite anime that I have voiced in would have to be Elemental Gelade. And I know that might come as a bit of a shock to you guys, but oh, I love that anime. Um, the character development, the storyline, the relationship buildup between my character Ren and the other lead was so beautiful. Um, I think I was about 14 or 15 when I was recording that and I can just remember going in every single time when we were about to record and just being so excited to find out what was going to happen next. I was literally obsessed with that anime when I was, when I was um, recording it. So if you haven't seen Elemental Delayed, go and try to find it somewhere. It is such a great anime. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. What is three things in the world that you wish didn't exist? I would say disease, bugs, and alarm clocks because I love to sleep. Favorite makeup brand? Overall, I would say probably Urban Decay. Have you ever been on a motorcycle before? No, I haven't been on a motorcycle before. And I know when I was like 17 or 18, I really wanted to get my motorcycle license so that I could do all my own stunts, but I never ended up doing that. What was your favorite moment while filming? Oh man, I have a lot of favorite moments while filming, but one of them that stands out was when I was filming Psych. So when I was filming Psych, my scene was taking place in an office and I can remember the producer coming up to me and in between takes and he whispered in my ear and he said, the next take we do, um, grab that hole puncher there, turn around and say, well, why don't you say that to my three hole puncher? And I was like, okay, like I had no idea why he didn't give me any context or anything. So the next take comes around and I grab the hole puncher and I turn around and say that line and then the cast and crew do their big laugh that they do. And um, I had no idea about the inside joke until afterwards. So um, it was really fun to be a part of something that was kind of infamous on set. Actually that scene made it into the season three blooper reel. So it was fun to be a part of something like that. Okay, so I got asked a ton of Inuyasha questions. Sorry I couldn't answer all of them, but this one was definitely the one that was asked the most. Um, would you be interested in coming back as Rin in the Inuyasha sequel? Yes, uh, I'd love to return as Rin in the sequel. What's your favorite Disney movie? Oh my gosh, that's really hard because I love all of them. I really love the old animated films from the 50s and 60s and 70s, like Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland, and like the Aristocats. But if I really had to pick one, it would be a tie between The Lion King and The Nightmare Before Christmas. Do you keep in touch with anyone from Zix? Yes, I'm actually still really good friends with Reese Thompson, who played Dwayne. Actually, when we were filming Zix Level 3, Reese and his friends started a comedy group called Jitterbug Productions. And I did a couple of sketches with them while we were filming. Actually, I'll link one of them down below in the description box if you feel like having a laugh. So I do still see Reese once in a while, and I also keep in touch with um, Ephraim Ellis, who played my cousin Riley. Favorite Inuyasha memory? Uh, there's a lot of memories just from being a part of the show. It was really fun to record and and everything, um, but Probably just any time that I went in to record and 
Master Jockin had done his lines because when I would do, when we would do playback for me to do my line, his line would play and sometimes I couldn't even get through my lines because of Master Jockin. Like, honestly, he's my favorite character in Inuyasha. I can't even tell you how much I love Master Jockin and he had the best lines in the whole series to me. So anytime that I got to listen to Master Jockin. Do you have any favorite Marvel superheroes or groups? Because I remember you did Thor's daughter, Torin, in the next Avengers. Sorry to my Avengers people, but I'm gonna have to go with Spider-Man on this one. And the last question is, what is your favorite video game? I don't even have to think about this one. My favorite video game of all time is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. If you follow me on Twitter, you've seen me tweet about this game. It's an obsession. Um, I can't tell you how many hours I spent playing Ocarina of Time on Nintendo 64, but it was a lot. Um, I will sometimes lay there and just listen to the Temple of Time theme song or the Forest Temple theme song. Um, I wake up every day and I pray to the Nintendo gods that they release a version for Switch. Like, please. So I'm gonna wrap up this Q&A. Thank you guys so much for sending me your questions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in another one of these in the future, leave me a comment. So yeah, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.